Hi, this is Bhaskar. Today we are going to discuss about the problem based on the connecting rod. Determine the dimension of an I section connecting rod for a petrol engine from the following data. Diameter of the piston 110 mm. Mass of the reciprocating parts 2 kg. Length of the connecting rod from the center to center 325 mm. Stroke length 150 mm and speed 1500 with thousand five hundred with possible over speed of two thousand five hundred. The compression ratio is four is to one and the maximum explosion pressure is two point five Newton per mm square. Okay, so this is a numerical sum for the given connecting rod. Okay, so it is a particularly petrol engine. So we are going to move the solution. Okay. So the diameter D value given 110 mm they converted into meter. So the conversion is 10 power minus 3 or divided by 1000. And the mass of reciprocating parts M suffix R equal to 2 kg. Then length equal to 325 mm then converted into meter. So 0.325 meter and the stroke length L equal to 150 mm again converted into meter so it, it is a 0.15 meter and there are two speed given one is a minimum speed and another one is a maximum speed so n suffix minimum equal to 1500 rpm and maximum speed equal to 2500 rpm the compression ratio r value given 4 is to 1 it is nothing but 4 divided by 1 equal to 4 and the pressure value given as a 2.5 newton per mm square here the pressure is denoted by small letter p so we know that basic uh, formula radius of the crank is nothing but stroke length divided by 2. The stroke length is nothing but either capital L or sum, sorry. Here there are two length given. Okay, don't make confuse. It is a connecting rod length is denoted by small L and the stroke length is denoted by capital L. So here the small radius of crank R equal to small R equal to stroke length capital L divided by 2 so capital L value given so 150 divided by 2 you can get M again converted into meter so 75 into 10 power minus 3 equal to 0 0.075 meter ok alright next ratio of length of connecting rod to crank radius the notation is small n equal to L by R actually here divided by is there so here also ok by printing mistake it is not visible so small n equal to l small l divided by small r so small l value we know 325 mm and r value we know that as 75 mm okay so if you substitute both the values in terms of mm or in terms of meter there is a no issue okay but one value substituted in mm another value substitute in meter like that if you substitute the total answer become wrong okay so next one the maximum force on the piston due to the pressure equal to F suffix L equal to pi by 4 into D square into P. Again it is a basic formula pressure equal to load by area. Okay, From that they rearranged. Okay, So here pi by 4 is a constant. Diameter value is a 110 mm given and the pressure value also given. Okay, Pressure value is a 2.5. So if you simplify the all the data you can get uh, maximum force acting on the piston due to the pressure is 23,760 Newton. Force unit is a Newton. Next, maximum angular speed omega max equal to the formula 2 pi n by 60. Here we are going to find the maximum condition. So we need to substitute the speed as in maximum condition. Okay, There are two speed is given. One is a minimum speed and another is a maximum speed. For finding maximum angular angular speed we need to use here maximum speed so 2 pi into n max is at 2500 divided by 60 okay if you simplify you can get 261.8 radian per second next one maximum inertia force of the reciprocating parts f suffix i equal to m suffix r omega max squared into r open the bracket cos theta plus cos 2 theta divided by n okay this is a formula which is available in dynamics of machinery okay in the first unit is available so they taken this formula okay anyhow you, you need to memorize the formula okay next 
So here theta value is not given in the question. Let we are assuming theta equal to 0 degree because the in inertia force of the reciprocating parts is maximum. During that case, the crank is at the inner dead center. So obviously the theta value is a 0. That means in a static condition. So Fa equal to now you, you need to substitute the value m suffix r omega max squared into r. If you put cos theta 1, that means theta value is 0 means cos cos 0 equal to 1 plus again here also 1 so 1 divided by n okay we simplify the equation 1 now we are substituting all the value all the form known sorry all the data we know that mass of reciprocating parts 2 kg omega max the value we know that we just we found 2 pi n by 60 that formula and r value also we know that stroke divided by 2 okay then small n value also we know that l divided by r that all the value you substitute and get the inertia force values are 12,672 newton okay all right next we are going to calculate the force in the connecting rod okay so before that we are going to assume since the connecting rod is descended by taking the force in the connecting rod is equal to the maximum force on the piston okay that means simply we can assume f suffix c equal to f suffix l equal to so this value already we found where 23760 that means fl value we need to take okay that means load acting on the piston load acting on the piston equal to load acting on the connecting rod okay next so generally the connecting rod is a device which is useful to convert reciprocating motion of the piston is converted into rotary motion of the crankshaft okay for that purpose only for transmitting the power purpose we are using the connecting rod generally the connecting rod is ma made up of a forging process and it is made the cross section will be mostly I section okay so for the if you taking the connecting rod in cut sectional view okay so we having two axes one is a moment of inertia with respect to xx axis and moment of inertia with respect to yy axis okay so if you do the formula okay so we can calculate the ixx value is a 3.2 okay similarly kxx squared and kyy squared also we got we found it okay from the diagram okay next we also discussed that once again in the left side okay ah uh, chena pati sorry so we are going to consider w suffix here that means load acting on the connecting rod or particularly it is uh, for buckling load the buckling load is nothing but due to the self weight so consideration of only the self weight if you do the calculation that is called as a buckling load okay so the buckling load is very famous in column chapter okay so anyhow so here we are going to calculate w suffix here that means load acting on the connecting rod due to the buckling load w suffix here equal to f suffix c into 6 that 6 is nothing but factor of safety let we are assumed okay so there is a no uh, any condition we need to assume 6 like that okay so this is a design they oriented sum so they taken as a factor of 70 as a 6 okay if you multiply both value you can get value in terms of newton okay next and cross sectional area equal a equal to 2 into open the bracket 4 t into t plus t into 3 t okay this formula derived for the i section we have the connecting rod okay so again if you simply substitute all the value you can get in terms of 11 t squared okay the area unit is a mm squared here we don't know the t value okay so keep it as it order next moment of inertia about xx axis that means i suffix xx equal to open the bracket 4 t open the bracket 5 t power q divided by 12 minus 3 t open the bracket 3t power cube divided by 12 close the bracket actually here the divided by symbol is missing in the printout okay so if again if you simplify the value you can get 419t power 4 divided by 12 in terms of mm power 4 next radius of gyration k 
okay the k formula k suffix xx that means with respect to xx axis square root of i xx divided by a okay that i xx we found in terms of t okay and a value we got okay so so simplify that we can get here i xx value is a 419 t power 4 divided by 12 into that a value okay that means 1 divided by a okay so here a value we got 11 t squared so but he, it is available here 1 by a so i written as a 1 divided by that a value is a 11 t squared okay if you simplify actually here square root is that similarly here on denominator symbol is that okay if you simplify the radius of variation with respect to x x axis we can get 1.78 in terms of t okay next the t square t power 4 will be cancel so it remaining t power t power squared is that then square root and squared will be cancel so finally one t is that okay next equal length of the connecting rod for both ends hinged condition so we are assuming capital l equal to small l 325 mm that 325 mm given in question similarly assume for the mild steel material sigma suffix c is a 320 mega pascal okay it is now we know that 1 mega pascal equal to 1 newton per mm square and alpha value is a 1 divided by 7500 okay this is a constant value okay they taken from the rankine formula so again the connecting rod load equal to w suffix c r c r indicate connecting rod w indicate load equal to sigma suffix c into a divided by 1 plus small a open the bracket L divided by K suffix X X whole square. Okay. If you substitute the all the value sigma C we assumed three twenty newton per mm square. A value we know that eleven t square. Okay. Small a value also we know that one divided by seven thousand five hundred. Okay. K X X value we know that one point seven eight in terms of t. Capital L value we assumed capital L equal to small L equal to three twenty five mm. Okay, we know the all the values W C R also we know that. Okay, from that I can find the T value. Okay, so here the quadratic formula method is there. Okay, A X squared plus B X plus C equal to zero. Like that means the formula is minus B plus R minus root B squared minus four A C divided by two A. Okay, so based on this formula. We finding the t. Okay, you can get t squared is of forty four point five five. Then again, if you simplify, you can get t value is of six point six seven. And we we can take approximate value. Okay, so finally you can substitute the nomenclature sir. The dimension of the uh, cross sectional of connecting rods are height equal to five times of thickness and width equal to four times of thickness. Just we found the thickness value is of six point eight mm. Just substitute, get the answer. And the next one, thickness of flange and web equal to same value. You can take the same t value. Okay, next. Okay, we are going to find the mass of the connecting rod per meter length basis. So m suffix one so m suffix l equal to volume into density. We know this also basic formula density equal to mass per unit volume. From that only we rearrange mass equal to volume into density. Again, volume is nothing but area into length because volume it, volume unit is a meter cube or mm cube. So we can split into area into length. Area means meter square, length is meter. So if you multiply together, it become meter cube. And the density value in terms of kg per meter cube. Okay. So the density unit is a kg per meter cube. For that purpose only they converted into meter. Okay. So Here a value we know that eleven t squared small l value we know that rho value we don't know so let be assured okay so if you substitute the all the values okay we can get the mass of the connecting rod per meter length thank you.